you're so loyal. Who's my loyal guy? Yeah, it's you. You were so good. Hi, I'm Ria Kitch. I'm from Kitch Wines, co-founder uh, with my husband Trent. We're located in East Kelowna, so North Okanagan, and we get to operate on our vineyard here at our family's estate. So um, Trent's parents live here and we operate in the garage and farm the land. Yeah, we're up in the bench of East Kelowna, so a lot of glacial silt. It's literally where the glaciers uh, kind of ripped through back many, many millennia ago. Um, same kind of aspect ratio as a lot of the Tantalus vineyards. So we're facing southwest and we're at about 420 meters elevation. A great question that we get asked all the time is how did Kitch come to be? And it's not your typical story because we aren't a family of vintners back uh, generations, but I guess in Canada that is normal too. Um, we're actually entrepreneurs, so my husband started Saks Underwear and I quickly met him after he had started that and ended up becoming vice president as we grew it together. And when we exited Saks and sold our majority stake, we bought land in East Kelowna and family kind of followed and we ended up planting it all in vineyard and we tasted how amazing the fruit was and felt that we could bring something fresh to this burgeoning um, agricultural world of the Okanagan wine region. So we started with Riesling and we planted Riesling and Chardonnay in 2013 and we are growing in a cool climate environment which typically is resulted in acid forward wines, really kind of lemony on the Chardonnay. Uh, we also planted Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris in 2014 and 2020. We planted a lot of Pinot Noir. So again, really great cool climate wines that um, can handle this weather and also have a lot of of character from you know the site into which they're grown. When we started Kitch we felt that there was a gap so we started in 2015 was our first vintage we opened the doors technically in 2016 with that vintage we felt there was a gap in the market for what was a little bit more modern or youthful yet still sophisticated brand so when we went to wineries we didn't always feel like we were savvy enough or experienced enough to fit right in and we felt there was also a great opportunity for kind of more youthful music, youthful art, and just a bit of a vibe that matched more uh, how we wanted to experience wine. Whether or not that's become our customer is up for debate. Um, I'd say our customer is definitely someone who has a taste for quality. They like things to, you know, they maybe drink less, but maybe better wine and also um, they have a sense of design, art, and uh, like a little bit of the humor on the backside. So not taking ourselves too, too seriously. When we started Kitch again, we didn't totally uh, know who our customer was going to be, but we did know that we operate in a beautiful property in a beautiful place in the Okanagan and we thought we could share that by throwing a party which is also part of our inherent culture and values a celebration a big part of why we started Kitsch so every vintage is a celebration and so we decided to have a vintage celebration we called it Splendor in the Grass and it's in July we hold it over two days July 7th and 8th it's a Friday night Saturday night and we have bands and we have other entertainment some surprises um, it's obviously wine but some other drinks and we also are looking at maybe doing some sunset sessions this year with like a DJ because we have an amazing view of the sunset but we always have to close before then so we're hoping to do some special events where you get to catch a sunset up here I think the Okanagan wine community is amazingly inclusive. I was always surprised how supportive the other wineries were without us even ever having to reach out. The first customers that came were from a winery near us when we first opened our doors. Um, if wineries heard we were having an issue with something like the ALR or some other you know, thing that they may have run into, they would reach out to us and say, hey, I have experience, I know this person or this helped me. And, you know, there's just so much, I think, um, kind of sharing that happens that you don't always imagine would. And there's a lot of uh, mentality that a rising tide raises all ships. I think that there's the sense that we're making really quality wines and we want the world to know that. And the only way we'll do that is if we all lift each other up. 
So if you'd like to visit Kitch, we're open spring through to Labor Day weekend typically. Um, so it is in East Kelowna and right off East Kelowna Road. Um, we have a tasting room around back and it, the hours are generally about 11 till 7 p.m. We do lead tastings so we guide you through um, we usually have like an elevated option or a standard option so depending on if you want to taste this more premium wines or you want a more of a lay of the land and we also have a really cool moke which is an electric uh, almost little mini jeep that will ride you around the vineyard as a special tour um, and yeah we're, we're around a bunch of other great wineries and we are open seasonally you were so good.